Midway between the satire of Spinal Tap and the pathos of American beauty is the schizophrenic state of mind known as hog fever. This is the story of a man, a motorcycle, and his search for freedom. Or at least, one last stab at it. Driven to despair by the humiliating success of Coco, his high-maintenance green rider wife. Wanka. And driven to rediscover his manhood through a love of Easy Rider and the Wild One, Robert Lords, a struggling author on the cusp of 40, looks for solace in the Harley-Davidson legend. How the whole mess happened, I don't know. But I know it couldn't happen again in a million years. Hog Fever is Robert's comedy of errors as he embarks on a toot, tattoo, and testosterone-fueled quest to seek out his true self from the sanctuary of his therapist's couch. Maybe I could have stopped it earlier, but once the trouble was on its way, I was just gone. What exactly happened on that road? I hit a post, dropped the bike, and got knocked out. When I came round, there was this policewoman on a horse. Anything else? Yeah. When I stood up, my leather stayed stuck to the foot peg, <laughs> and I exposed myself. And? I covered my penis with my helmet. You call it a penis? We discover how Robert's last-ditch attempt to become part of Coco's world with his biker screenplay, Weekend Warrior, ends in disaster when his agent turns the script down. I love it, but I can't sell it. And Coco blatantly steals the movie's storyline during a dinner party for a visiting Hollywood producer. Ding, ding, ding. I want to make a toast. Here's to a very talented and clever lady. And here's to Hell's Bells. I love it. How the arrival in Robert's life of Gabriella, a beautiful young script editor with her own Harley, stir the first tremors of a long, dormant passion. Hi. Is this the House of Lords? I'm Robert Lords, so I guess it must be. Um, it's a pleasure to eat you. Excuse me? How he shares his fantasy biker life with invisible friend, Billy Idol. All right. How Robert, confused and lacking the confidence to shed the marital skin, immerses himself deeper and deeper in biker culture. Hey, bro. You're running from a dead-end life? Stale marriage? Two kids, a mortgage, sex once a month, and the missionary position? Well, here's 1,200 cc's of salvation. I was hooked. How the trajectory of Robert's life is changed by the murders of his coke dealer buddy. Your medication, gentlemen. And a visiting music video director. Oh, where I come from, a Harley's like an asshole. Everybody's got one. At the hands of Biklos, an unhinged East European cab driver obsessed with Travis Bickle from Taxi Driver. <laughs> You talk to me? How Robert discovers that God's real name is Harold, and how his psyche is deeply affected by a series of life-changing epiphanies. Hmm, Porchy Febris. What? Porchy Febris. When the fever strikes, time and space no longer exist. It's not what you ride, Robert. It's who you are when you ride it. The police found the rock's head this morning. What? He's dead, Bill. Decapitated. Christ! And it ain't just about the bike. You gotta chop your life too. Cut away in the dead wood. The ego dissolves and the sufferer merges zen like with the ultimate object of his design. Hog fever, Robert. And how, after a cataclysmic row with Coco. You bastard, get out! Robert finally leaves home with riding buddies Mason and Phil to follow his misguided heart on a 1700 mile pilgrimage to a major biker rally in Marbella. Hear that? What? Destiny. What is it? What's wrong? It ends for me. On this road. Or does it? Will Robert meet his maker Easy Rider style in a tangle of hot metal and rock music? Or will he find redemption in the arms of Gabriella and become a successful author and purveyor of fine audio experiences such as... Hog Fever, a movie without pictures, starring Terrence Stamp and some people you never heard of, coming to a pair of ears near you soon.